Hey everybody, it is Maria and this is my husband Aaron. I thought it would be fun to do the partner's tag. I, I don't know if he thinks it would be fun, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. I've seen other people do it on here and it's been really kind of fun to watch everybody else. I know I don't normally show my kids in the videos. Well, I don't ever show the kids in the videos, but uh, this was my concession from him to uh, allow me to try and do a tag with him. So that said, we'll go ahead and do the questions. We are very different personality. You'll probably pick up on that pretty quickly, but all right. Uh, first question, how long have you been together? So in one month, yeah. it, it will have been 16 years and how long we've we been married. So I got this wrong earlier when I remember the questions. We've been married 12 years, not 11, like I originally thought. Normally, he keeps track of how old we are, too, because we're only four weeks apart. So it's just one more thing I don't have to worry about. So. Question number two, who reads more? Yeah, Maria definitely <laughs> reads more. Um, I'm reading screens all the time, which is part of what I do. But in terms of actually reading books, Maria by far reads more than I. That's probably safe to say, uh, although sometimes he he will get up and stay up all night reading a book uh, if he has time. He's working on an online degree program too, so that takes up other kinds of reading, so he doesn't have as much time for pleasure reading. However, he does hold his own when it comes to binging through books when he feels like it, but yeah, I, I've never come home to see him raking with a book in his hand, and he's done that to me. Question number three, do you agree or disagree, or do you argue or disagree about books? I don't know that we really do. We don't read the same things, so there's not a lot of opportunity to argue or have conflict about them. I do remember, though, having a disagreement. Uh, he is a Star Trek fan, and while I do appreciate Star Trek Next Generation quite a bit, um, he also likes Star Wars, which I like Star Wars, but it's not like something that was super important to me. I remember we had an argument once about if Star Wars had a better storyline than Harry Potter. And, uh, I don't remember <laughs> this at all. <laughs> well, his opinion was Star Wars had a better, a better storyline and he's wrong. Hmm. It does not. I, I... Okay. I don't remember this conversation. Um, number four, who buys the most books? Probably Maria. We actually don't buy loads of books, mostly reading from the library, but when we do purchase them, it's Maria that's purchasing them for the most part. Yes. However, currently I am on my no year of extra buying, which includes books. Uh, so Aaron will probably purchase more than me this year because he is not under the same restriction. Um, yeah. I, I feel more, more guilty about, and I definitely check out more books from the library. But. Number six, do you share books? Um, occasionally. Um, again, we don't read a lot of the same content. Maria reads more than me and burns through library books, but there are, of the books that we own, um, there's a chunk that we have both read. That is true. We also took a class about, how long ago was that now? Three, four years ago. I feel like it might have been even longer than that. Uh, we took an online class on sci-fi sci and, fantasy, sci and literature. fantasy literature, which was really fun. It was probably one of my favorite things that we've done together where it was through Coursera and we read several different books and did like online posts about it, wrote papers, wrote papers and, yeah. and different people would grade them. And so that was kind of really fun to do because we would um, talk about the books we were reading together. Um, so for that class, there was... Dracula, Frankenstein, which is my favorite, uh, one of my favorites, um, The Little Brother by Cory Doctorow, mm -hmm. which we both really liked. Mm -hmm. um, Alice, in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland, Left Hand of Darkness. Yeah. Uh, one other one, I can't remember Invisible what it was. Man? No, I can't recall now. Yeah. So that was a really, really fun thing. Uh, we did share those books, even though most of them we read online uh, electronically. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we actually came away with some common opinions, which doesn't happen all the time. Uh, we make a lot of jokes about Dracula and how you always have to have brandy around the house when you mm -hmm. read Dracula because any time in Dracula where people would get faint or something bad would happen, they would say, get out the brandy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, number 
seven, do you read together or apart? Um, what do you mean by that? Do you mean well, like, are we reading at the same time? I think we could. Okay. Kind then of... yes, some of the time we are we are reading at the same time. Um, again, Maria reads more than I do, but on on day on moments of time where I'm burning through a book, she will often be reading simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, when I first joined the family, because we, we met in college, so uh, we would go home and visit parents sometimes, and whenever we went to his parents' house, they all got together for family reading time, and it was like this unspoken, weird ritual. Uh, <laughs> like My family reads, but like we didn't do it as a group thing. We just all did it in our rooms, and so I remember coming down several times and all of a sudden it just felt like everybody, this eerie silence fell over the house and everybody got their book out and started reading on the couch together. And uh, maybe two years in, I finally was like, I got my book for family reading time. And he, he kind of looked at me funny. I'm like, you guys don't know that you do that. Hmm. So we've continued that tradition. So, And sometimes he'll read out loud or I will read out loud to the kids. Uh, for a while we've done some chapter books like that and that's really fun. He used to make up stories too. He's a very good maker up of story, story creator. <laughs> uh, all right, question number eight. How many books in an average month do you read? And yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of books for, I don't know, maybe three books, three books a month. And that's not counting, like Marie mentioned, doing an online like yeah. grad programs and not counting textbooks. Yeah. So just books, three, probably three a month for me. So you're still above the national average. Okay. So there's that. He always, I mean, he's like, he says he doesn't read as much as me, but he, he reads quite a bit still. Uh, I have no idea. How many, how many do I average a month? He, he watches all my videos, so he might actually keep better track of well, what, through the end averages. Of, through the end of October, you were on book 100 something for the year, so that would be 10 to 11 per month. That sounds like it could be right. So he does more math stuff than I do as well. All right. Number nine. Are you competitive in your reading? <laughs> <laughs> We're both kind of competitive and he's a very competitive game player. Um, so this is a funny question. I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, so we both read quickly. If it really comes down to it, Maria probably reads a tiny bit faster than I do. I do. Um, that said... Um, I can pick up an 800 page book yes. and read it in a day, which I will and not Maria can't, do. can't just can't do it. I can't stay with a book that long. I, at least I very rarely have stayed with a book that long. So he'll pick up these like clunker brick of a book and I'm just, I just don't understand that at all. Um, so that's more, you like big, thick books mm -hmm. and I just can't, I'm trying, I'm trying hard. But, yeah. so yeah, but I do read faster. And I'm a better speller for keeping track. <laughs> and question number 10, have you read a book on the other's recommendation that you have enjoyed or not enjoyed? Mm -hmm. So I'll focus on the not enjoyed half. <laughs> um, this was uh, shortly after the birth of our first child, I had oh. asked, <laughs> I had asked for a recommendation, and <laughs> so uh, Maria recommended *The Road* by Cormac, Cormac McCarthy. McCarthy. And she sold. I just she, got it from my friend. She and sold I, it to me as <laughs> a father it. and son go on a journey together. She did not tell me the father and son are going on a journey together through a post-apocalyptic wasteland with <laughs> violence and cannibalism. So, like t a yeah. week after we had our first child, which was maybe not the best, and he. If he picks up a book or even starts a movie, he normally has to finish it. There, You've recently maybe started not finishing things. Mm, but right. for a long time, that was like, he has to finish. And I was like, just put it down. He's like, I can't put it down now. Well, and I mean, it, it was a good book in the end, but it was not <laughs> what it was promised to be. I, I, all I knew about it was father-son journey. I did not realize just quite how bleak it was going to be. Um, I, on the other hand, was nice, and I picked up a stack of <laughs> books that I brought on his... So, these are his original, like, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings trilogy. These are the ones he stole from his dad. Um, mm -hmm. and how many times have you read these? I don't know. I mean, as an adolescent, all the, all the time, again and yeah. again and again, so who knows? Yeah, so I read these. I remember he wouldn't... 
he was like, you have to finish the books before we see the movies. And they came out when we were in college. So I remember we were dressed up for the midnight showing and I was finishing the last few pages of maybe two towers mm -hmm. in line. Um, so these ones, and I've liked those, although I will admit I skip past the Elvish songs because I just don't care. Um, Paul Tillich, Dynamics of Faith, uh, and also New Kind of Christian by Brian McLaren. Uh, a lot of, he studied Bible, religion, um, theology kind of things in college uh, and had very different opinions about things, which I now appreciate. Um, but it was hard to go through, but it was nice because he was able to give me some recommendations of books that kind of challenged my way of thinking uh, and kind of opened me up a little bit to some different opinions. So those, and yeah, New Kind of Christian is actually one of my favorite religious books because uh, he talks about, yeah, having lots of different ways to think about things and constantly changing your mind, which is a lot of our relationship is compromising and changing your mind. We're very different. So, mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything else you want to add about our reading tastes? No, anything? Nothing that comes no. to mind. No, no. So thank you for bearing with us. That is the partner's book tag. Uh, I watched this on Russell's channel on ink and plate paper blog, as well as Mel on Mel's bookland adventures. So, and they didn't tag me, but I don't really care. I don't really listen to those rules. So if you have a partner who reads, and you film videos and you haven't done this tag, I think it's a really fun way to do if you can talk them into it. So I will talk to you all later and thank you, Aaron, for, for being with me. He's my number one fan. He always watches all my videos. So see ya. Bye.